I bet you didn't even know about half of these Bloodline skins unless you've scrolled through the Bloodline menu. And uh, yeah, so we're going to be going through all the Bloodline skins in the game. I'm also going to be telling you guys what skin is the best in my personal opinion, in case you guys want to know that. And I'll be telling you everything about the skin. So if you guys enjoyed this video, hit the like sports go right to the video, guys. By the way, I just want to preface this video by saying there are some things in the game that are not just skins. So like Arahaki, Jokai, and Jokai, they're not just skins. They have fundamental differences between the Bloodlines. Raikishin and Shizen, they also have differences. So things, these skins are different from the just the different you know blood eyes in general all right so let's start off with the original skin the skin that started it all light jokai dark jokai and gold jokai well gold jokai is actually really new compared to the other ones but dark jokai was the first skin ever introduced into the game so when it comes to light jokai dark jokai and gold jokai the only difference between all of these different skins is literally just the color they only change the color nothing else changed and uh the actual mode is a little bit different as well so it's only a color change nothing like visual effects was changed whatsoever and i gotta say dark jokai is my personal favorite because dark jokai is actually blue while well, they're the ones I do not feel like they look as good as blue but they actually it's, it's a very good looking skin set in my opinion next up's gonna be Diva Ren and Diva Sen I'm gonna say it right now Diva Ren looks a lot better than Diva Sen Goku but I can guarantee you this a lot you probably have barely ever seen Diva Sen I mean Diva Ren Goku because Diva Sen Goku you can actually buy from the Rokoid shop which is generally how people get Diva because nobody ever wants to grind the boss but when it comes to Diva Ren and Diva Sen there's actually very very few differences I would say the only major difference is literally the mode looks different other than that literally almost every Everything else is the exact same but diva ren in my personal opinion does look better than diva sen we're gonna be going quick through this one boys red shiki red shiki gold obviously red shiki looks better i think the lime green effect looks a lot better than uh p color but i actually have some people that actually do like red shiki gold more the only difference is they ch they visually change the color from green to yellow so you know if you guys like you know gold or p you know that's it for you man now for red goku for say goku i actually feel like there's a little bit more than just the visual like skin change because when it comes to forge red of forge said they actually have slightly different modes so the modes are a little bit different obviously the color change is different but in the end of things there's actually not much that's changed i i'm pretty sure you can actually look at forge then look at forge red and you'll think they're almost the exact same bloodline it's very hard to tell the difference in the end of things it's just a very very small color change in the abilities so in my opinion they're actually you know very equal in terms of looking now here comes my favorite skin set in the entire game ryan ren ryan sen and ryan azur obviously you guys probably know this from my videos if you watch my pp videos ryan azur is my favorite one of these just because i do i really really love the white flames i think i think it's one of the only bloodlines in the game to actually have white flames and i i think it looks amazing not to mention the fact that blue is actually my favorite color so you know that definitely adds on to it and with the, with the sen goku they didn't actually change the flames to red so it actually looks a lot like ryan red but it actually has a little bit more than just color changes they add a little bit of visual changes to it it overall does look a lot better than ryan red but ryan azur is actually my personal favorite now shindai red shindai red yang the main difference is actually going to be the mode the mode will be the main difference the other abilities uh the flame is blue instead of red you know that's a pretty major difference but other than that there's not really much that's changed besides the mode the mode the colors change and stuff like that and yeah yeah i actually like shindai ren yang more because you know blue blue is good in my opinion hey you yeah you have you remembered to hit the like button on the video yet if you haven't already go ahead and do it and that's what's gonna be bankai inferno riser inferno the literally i'm not lying when i say this literally the only difference is the mode the other actual abilities themselves are the exact same so uh i would say they look actually very similar Similar, but I actually do like Bankai Inferno more than Riser Inferno because I think the purple, like dark purple look, it isn't as good as Bankai Inferno's, you know, red look. So maybe it's a good thing that the other one's a skin. The red one that looks better isn't a skin. Now, Satori Rengoku, Satori Gold. Obviously, guys, Satori Ren looks a lot better than Satori Gold. I actually do like the green aesthetic more than the uh, gold, but they actually both, you know, are the exact same bloodline. So I, I would, I'll say Satori Ren's better than Satori Gold. And Satori Gold costs way too many royal coins, man. Like, oh my god. Now, this was actually a very controversial one but doku tengoku doku scorpion i personally think that doku scorpion looks a lot better than doku tengoku but a lot of people don't actually agree with me some people don't like the scorpion thing but i think the scorpion thing it's a super unique skin it's literally not just a like a like a color change they changed how the mode looks entirely it looks like an entirely new bloodline and not only that but they actually do think the yellow fits a lot more than the uh, blue and you know that's coming from a blue lover so i do feel like doku scorpion it is better yeah like i view when i look at doku tengoku i think of of doku scorpion because that is kind of the standout thing when it comes to doku to goku now sengoku sengoku inferno there's not really much that's changed between them one is like black one's you know red so i mean like there's not really much to say about this the skins are almost the exact same you can 
can kind of pick and choose whatever you want, but obviously Sengoku doesn't cost as much as Sengoku Furdo, so just keep that in mind. But the skins almost look the exact same. Now, Tengoku, Tengoku Platinum, this is kind of the same thing as Sengoku Inferno. They actually didn't change the skin that much. I actually really, really think a red Tengoku would have looked sick. There's uh, been a post on Twitter before from one of my subscribers that put in Tengoku Rose. Dude, a red Tengoku would be sick, man. Like, actually. But when it comes to Tengoku, Tengoku Platinum is literally just a lighter version of Tengoku. They actually did change the color on some of the abilities. There's not really big changes. They just changed the color from yellow to white on some of the abilities. Now, Ren Goku and Obi Ren Ken Goku. This is one of the biggest skin overhauls in the entire game not only did they change the mode but they actually changed a lot of the mode abilities like just completely visually changed them now uh, these assets are taken from star life but you know who cares man it's really cool in shindo life it's honestly one of my favorite skins in the game it's a lot of people's favorite skin because it just changed the bloodline so much it gave it a completely new feel which is what i feel like a skin should do like things like doku scorpion things like this one they are true skins in my opinion I think color changes, while they are cool, they're chromas. That is the that is the actual name for them. They're called chromas. But skins should change the feel of it entirely, with also still being the same bloodline. And I feel like this this is the perfect example of that. Such a good skin. Obviously, the skin is better than the original. And uh, yeah, the Ken Goku skin, one of my personal favorites in the entire game. Now, Ryan Gaiden, Sengoku Gaiden. I actually think Ryan Gaiden looks a lot better than Sengoku Gaiden because Sengoku Gaiden and Ryan Gaiden almost look the exact same. The only difference is that there's a little a bit of red thrown in like the mode itself is red the actual abilities they aren't really changed you know the flames aren't changed the actual dragon isn't changed it's still the same color as ryan gaiden so literally the only difference you're going to be getting is the mode itself so i actually like ryan gaiden more now this is one of the you know biggest skin lines of the game narumaki skin line narumaki narumaki yang and ruby narumaki my personal favorite is ruby narumaki um some people really like your narumaki yang but when it comes to these skins, they I feel like these are one of the um like it's they didn't just change the colors, they actually changed how the mode abilities were and stuff like that. So I feel like these are really good skins in the game. They actually did change the abilities, they all look different, they all match. And when it comes to this, I actually personally like Narmaki Ruby the most. I do like it more, especially the Tetasayan mode. I think that looks way better than the other ones. But when it comes to it, I feel like this is a really good skin line, and uh, yeah. Now Kamaki and Kamaki Amethyst. Now, this is this this is a one where there's actually a pretty big difference i didn't say this with forge because i don't want people to you know freak out over this but forge sen has lower cooldowns than forge ren even though it is it, it's not supposed to be like that this is another case of that kamaki actually has a different ability than kamaki amethyst so kamaki is actually better than kamaki amethyst i'm not gonna say what uh because i feel like people will get mad if you mad at me if i say it mm, 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 first ability and second ability but when it comes to kamaki kamaki amethyst i actually do feel like you know kamaki amethyst looks better than kamaki i do like the purple look more now boromaki boromaki gold this could be a super simple one you guys could probably tell by now i don't like the gold skins boromaki looks better than boromaki gold i actually do like the black and white more than the yellow and yellow and white so when it comes to boromaki gold the it's just kind of just the color change there's not really much change besides that now ghost karashi inferno karashi now i feel they feel like this is a really crazy one because when people look at ghost karashi they actually think of inferno karashi they actually blend them together because they almost look the exact same but this is one where they actually did did change the color of the flames themselves but oh the bloodlines almost look the exact same and if you weren't trained to see what ghost karashi was you would think it was the same bloodline so they're kind of just the same in my opinion i feel like they mold into the same spot now cobra and cabra this is a skin that actually is a really good skin because it does change the entire feel of the bloodline itself i really really like cabra cobra mode i actually liked it so much to the point where when i used cobra mode i was like where's the snake coming up my belly button man where is it at because cabra cobra that's a really cool skin in my opinion obviously cabra cobra is a better looking skin but cobra itself sucks so uh yeah that you know that's a really unfortunate thing considering cabra cobra is one of the best skins in the game now giovanni shizen and jodoro shizen literally the only difference is that there's a color change from you know green to purple and the actual mode but they actually made the mode the mode drip actual outfit in the game so there's no point in getting this so obviously giovanni shizen is better but when it comes to this there's literally no point in getting jodoro shizen because the jodoro drip is actually in the game you can buy it now minikaze minikaze is i'm not gonna lie i think these bloodlines look amazing 
amazing. I think they're some of the best looking blood lines in the game. The actual visual effects are great. I personally like Minikaze Zura a lot more than Minikaze because I like blue. But if you like yellow, Minikaze is where it's at, man. So they actually did change the color of the abilities and stuff like that. I like Minikaze Zura because I just blue everywhere is such a cool thing. By the way, guys, what is your favorite limited slash bloodline skin in the game? If you're going to tell me in the comments below, we'll be checking them out. Now, Ryuji Kenichi and Ryuji Platinum. Now, the main difference between these two bloodlines is actually the mode visual effects. So the mode of Ryuji Platinum, it looks like a Goku going Super Saiyan, like, what? You know what I'm saying? But when it comes to Ryuji Kenichi, it looks like eight gates. So, I mean, when it comes to this, right, I think Ryuji Platinum it does look a lot better than Ryuji Kenichi, but Ryuji Kenichi, the mode, is super drippy. I didn't know how drippy it was until I, you know, used it because I never used it because hashtag Ryuji users are nerds. But when it comes to this, Ryuji, I do actually think looks better than Ryuji Platinum, in my opinion. Now, Jeremaki, Jeremaki is there. This will be the only blue skin that I do not like in this game. I think Jeremaki is there. It was a good concept. I think they had good intent tensions but they forgot to change some of the colors so that some of the colors are still Jeromaki's colors and they actually I feel like the blue color that they use um it's not a very good blue color I feel like for the actual first ability it should have made it like a neon blue and take took away the stone effect of the first ability just made it neon blue I think that would have been cool and then change the actual lasers to like neon blue and something like that or maybe a dark blue and neon blue lasers um and they actually the hair isn't really changed obviously because it matches your hair color third ability the actual explosions after the frogs go out they're yellow so like there's really no reason to ever use jeremaki is there it looks it, it it just it's inferior to Jer jeremaki now this is actually one of the newest skins of the game dio senko dio azur and dio rose in my opinion i actually do like dio azur the most but dio rose is a very good looking skin in my opinion i do think the red from the time stop and stuff like that it's a really cool visual effect my i personally like dio azur more but i can see why people would like dio rose more now kagoku and kagoku platinum i actually do feel like kagoku platinum doesn't look as good as kagoku because i do feel like even no Kugu Platinum does have the effect around it. I think yellow fits the bloodline more than black and white. There's not really much that's changed between them besides the actual mode itself looks different. All the other abilities almost look the exact same. Now, here comes the newest bloodline in the game, Vengeance and Sun Knight. Now, this is going to be a really, you know, big one because it's between black and white aesthetic. So, the black aesthetic or white aesthetic, it depends on what you like more. I personally like Sun Knight because I, like, you know, as you can see in my character in the game, I wear the troll face. I do like it when there's more white than black on a character, but I do think that vengeance actually is a really cool looking skin as well so it's all up to personal interpretation when it comes to this one anyways guys if you guys actually enjoyed this video hit that like button subscribe if you guys actually want to see another one also if you guys haven't yet for free to go to my second channel and subscribe to it i will be up live streaming and uploading other games and stuff like that on that channel so be sure to go and do that anyways guys hopefully you see the next one bye bye